I live in a condo. Never could that have transpired. Everybody thought it was me. I know, I saw that. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Touche. It was like automatically you. Yes, it was. Yeah. Michael claimed that despite going to the hotel with the stripper, they only kissed. Michael tells me that she didn't want anything physical with him once they got into the hotel room, and that the following day she had insinuated him paying her. Do you think they set him up, like, knowing who he... They knew who he was. And he took the bait. Or she didn't have sex. What's she getting paid for? I don't think she wanted to have sex with him. Did they sleep over? Yes. They slept over and nothing happened? And you don't think anything they happened? They had sex. They had a sleepover. They had a wild sleepover. night. They had pajama jam. As you sit here six months pregnant, how worried are you that something like this is going to happen again? Uh, I'd be lying to you if I said that I wasn't concerned about it a little bit. But he's home with me every night. He's making a commitment. Like, he's really trying. He's and I'm giving him the tonight. benefit of the doubt until he proves me wrong. Karen, you've certainly been vocal in the past about Michael. And what's your reaction to all this? You have a son to consider. And I support her decision to try to keep her marriage and family together. So we're talking about Jamal and Giselle. There are three kids there. Mm -hmm. She's trying to make it work with their father. Mm -hmm. I just want the truth with Giselle. There's so many allegations around her relationship. And I know Giselle doesn't feel this, but I'm coming from a good place. I don't think that it's reaching her, and that's OK, because we're not there right now, because we we're genuine. Be. I can accept you just like this. In fact, I like our relationship better. We don't have a relationship. It's so candid. That's what it All is. Right, it's it, well, you're, you're okay. very defensive. Why are you so angry? Questions you ask at all. Up. You not seem at, very defensive. You seem very angry. That's your angry. word of the day. Oh. It's, okay. it's OK. It's OK. It's OK. But again, I wish everyone you, you, has a you, person, root someone for her to love. Family. Absolutely, yes. Andy. I just wanted it to be a real family. OK. <laughs> Does it feel good to have Karen in your corner? She's full of s***. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Giselle, you would know, honey. You trained me well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coming up next. An old clip has resurfaced from season one. It seems damning. <laughs> Ashley, an old clip has resurfaced from season one. I, it must have been, I guess, at Sharice's birthday party of Michael squeezing the ass of a producer. And this is certainly relevant given everything that sure. happened last yes, season. Yes, 100%. I mean, when you saw the video, did your heart sink a little bit? No, because I know the context. It's not like that serious okay. to me. This producer was very funny, very flirtatious with Michael, in a not very sexual way, but they had this fun relationship. Michael meant no harm. And if you ask that person, it was a very innocent, joking thing. We asked him. He, I mean, he said it wasn't consensual, and he was a little mortified by it. That's funny, because he definitely calls my husband daddy, but OK. <laughs> He okay. also, he also has a job, and he wants to keep his job. I brought that up last year at the yes. reunion, so that is the incident that I was referring to. Producers have told us that you have done that to them. That's not true. I mean, I was told the same thing, that that same night that Michael grabbed Andrew's butt, he also went around and grabbed their butt. That's not true. If him grabbing the producer's butt and grabbing whoever else's butt are true, then why is grabbing the cameraman's butt untrue? I mean, that's the point. It seems damning. He had no relationship with that cameraman. He would not do that with someone he does not know. Girl, he did it. We can move on. No, next. he didn't. <laughs> the people who allegedly saw it signed affidavits, and sure. they didn't see anything. Like the letter you wrote that was bullshit. It's true. I have it's it. A depiction you... of oh, what sure. happened chronologically. In your thirst book. Is your prenup extension? No, we no longer have a prenup. So what were you asking for in the show? I was asking for a postnuptial agreement that would say, in the event of an indiscretion or infidelity, that there would be these consequences. Well, you talked about it, but did he make a postnup? No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You and didn't I'm wondering do it. if I should now that I have two children. <laughs> you would leave him if he ever cheated on you again. I would leave Michael Darby if he cheated on me. Yes. Okay, 